What's up people, Brewing Daddy here. We're about to keg up a five gallon batch of Adventures in Home Brewing Summer Wheat. We got our keg elevated up here. We got sanitizer in our keg. We've already sanitized our hose that we're gonna connect and drop down into the keg. We got our CO2 tank ready to go. So once we get all of our beer in, we're gonna go ahead and carbonate it and we'll open it up or we'll, we'll tap it in uh, try it out in a couple of days. While we do this, we're sipping on a honey pilsner, honey country pilsner, one of the nor northern brewers recipes that we just brewed, and it is good. Ah, it's good stuff. Anyways, so we're gonna get this keg emptied out, we'll be back with you, and then we're gonna start the transfer. Exciting times, let's get it. All right, so we're back, our keg is sanitized, we, uh, we did cut our hose in half because we're not going to need that much. So I'm going to go ahead and stick one half down in the keg. And the other end is going to go on the fermenter. It's the first time I've put this on here, so it's probably going to be hard to get on. And I'm right. <laughs> Sometimes you can heat it up, It'll melt it or burn it. Heat it up a little bit. It makes it a little easier. There you go. Just like that. A little trick. All right, so let's get our fermenter turned around so you can see everything. We're going to go ahead and open our valve up. Start to transfer. Now, we do need to pull out our airlock so let's do that that will help the flow we're not gonna need that in there anymore but uh it's going and yeah, it doesn't look super clear but it's not bad what's going through it I moved this about an hour ago I've tried to let it sit and settle before I transfer so uh, looks like we're good to go so we're gonna let this transfer you know, we'll get down to about the last inch or so and we'll stop it. Uh, we don't want to take any of that crud in the bottom, all the uh, settled uh, yeast and all the other particles that have settled in the bottom. So, uh, and it looked like we ended up with, we were right close to the five gallon mark. It's moving pretty fast. All right, so looking good. We're about at the three and a half gallon mark. This is awesome. <laughs> this is so much easier than bottling beer. Although it's great to have bottles of beer handy to transport and drink wherever you like, but this is so much easier. You can do the same thing with a keg. So the game plan is to get everything transferred, put the cap back on it, we're going to put the CO2 on it. I uh, believe we're going to turn it up to, it's my first time kegging, but I'll, I'll, and I'll double check it, but I want to say it's 20 PSI uh, the first day or two while you're force carbonating it. And then you drop it back to about 12. And you fine tune it uh, just to get the right amount of uh, pressure versus foam. All right, so we'll be back once this is done and we will uh, connect our CO2 and cap our uh, keg off. We'll see you in a few minutes. All right, our beer's been transferred. Everything's in the keg. Our fermenter is emptied out. It looked great going in the keg. It smells great. Now we're just gonna get this closed up and we're gonna put some carbonation on it or some CO2 on it to carbonate it. All right, so we're just gonna connect our CO2 side and then we'll turn on our valve and get everything adjusted out. Go. And I 
could hear it. <laughs> I could hear it going into the uh, keg. So you want to gradually do this. Turn your main valve on, then turn your shutoff valve, and then turn your control valve. And I'm getting it up to 20 PSI. It's right at 20. So we're good to go, as you can see. I'll show you. There we are, 20 PSI. So we're going to let this carbonate, force carbonate, for two days. It takes about two days. Um, you can rush the process by doing what I've done and then take the keg and like roll it around. I could, I could set the keg up here on top of the uh, table and just roll it around and shake it up real good and it would force all the carbonation in it. Uh, but I'd rather not do that. I'd rather not shake all the beer up in there. Um, I'm just going to let it sit for a couple days and we'll come back and we're going to uh, pour a glass of it and see what it tastes like. Alright, so our beer is kegged up. It's been kegged up for a few weeks. We are going to try it out. I will say before we even pour this that it's a little bit over carbonated so I'm probably going to have to let some of the uh, suds settle down before you can taste it. Like I said, very over carbonated as you can see. Alright, so all the suds have finally died down on our brew and now we can uh, give it a taste and a smell. It smells like your standard wheat beer. <sighs> Smooth. Not bad. Not bad at all. Got a grainy, you know, that grainy taste. No hops in this at all. I think limited hops. So don't taste any kind of hoppiness at all. It's just a smooth, good drinker. Uh, gosh, I can't really think of who I'd compare this to. Maybe like a, a Blue Moon or something like that. Pretty good beer. Not bad. Turned out really good. My first uh, keg beer. Pretty happy, except for the over over carbonation. It did get very over carbonated. Got a beautiful color though. Take a look at that. All right. So hope you enjoyed this video uh, of us brewing and kegging this uh, five gallon batch of America or Adventures in Home Brewing uh, Summer Wheat. Beer. It was a adventure to say the least, but we got it done and uh, the final product turned out pretty good. We're going to be drinking this one for a while. So uh, we'll be coming back at you with some new videos here real soon. All right. Thank you for watching. We appreciate you folks. Hope you enjoyed this video, even though it wasn't much of one. It was a very short one, different than the bottling, of course, but exciting times for us, for sure. May not be for everybody, but for us it is. But uh, check out BrewingDaddy.com. Got a lot of good content there. Hit that subscribe button. Like us. <clears throat> check out more beer. We're going to be brewing some more beer recipes. We're going to be our next, uh, our next recipe in a five gallon is going to be a Northern Brewer. But after that, we're going to be doing more beer recipes. So I got two five gallon kegs so I can do a whole nother batch. Then we're going to have to get one of these bad boys drank. That's going to be the fun part of all of it. But uh, we'll, uh, we'll be brewing some more beer, morebeer.com recipes here soon. So check out our sponsor. Our link to morebeer.com is in the description of the video. We also got links on our website. They're a great sponsor. Have everything you could imagine as far as beer brewing. Starter kits kegs fermenters burners recipes hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of recipes co2 tanks everything everything you can imagine uh, great great supplier to buy stuff here and a one-stop shop for everything all right so uh follow us on twitter also brewing daddy we have an instagram as well that's brewing daddy and also we have a tiktok 
Brewing Daddy there, and a Facebook page. So check out all those. We have links actually on our YouTube channel at the top and the, the header on our uh, channel page. You can click all those links right there and also from our website. Well, I hope you had a great week and having a great weekend. Take care and peace out.